<laughs> oh boy, Cosmo and Wanda, I got another wish for you guys. Oh, Timmy, don't touch that! What? I thought this was part of my surprise today. Timmy, you don't understand. We are in danger. What? Oh, Wanda, can I tell him, please? Oh, I don't think he's ready to hear about that. We snuck into the nuclear U.S.'s nuclear arsenal and got the nuclear command! Uh, oh, okay. Wait, you did what? <laughs> yeah, we only had to kill a lot of military men. <laughs> it's not anything that shaving my wand and ha, giving them all to COVID-21 can't do. Cosmo, you just committed a felony. <laughs> Don't worry, Timmy. It's not like two FBI agents are going to come kick down your door. Oh look, two FBI agents kicked down your door. You can win money on how spot on that was. Cosmo, Wanda, you two are under arrest for trespassing a United States governmental facility. Wait, wait, you wait, two wait. You are wait. coming with us. Why are you just going to take them away? Son, we're in the FBI. These two have put America in grave danger. You must ask them of their secrets. Why are you guys even FBI agents? I blew up Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got you now, Timmy Turner! <laughs> now that I've finally figured out where your fairies live! Yeah, about that. What? You're going to tell me that you don't have fairies in your own home? Oh, that's exactly the kind of logic that someone would use if they were trying to hide the fact that they had fairy godparents! <laughs> you don't understand, Mr. Crocker. The FBI was just here. I don't have any fairies. Oh, so you couldn't even keep them in your own home, hmm? Well, then I give you an F for fucked! <laughs> Hi! Hey, where's my son? Get back here. Dad, I'm right here. Oh, great. Nice to still have you here, whatever your name is. What did you say? Only they took him away. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, 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 I'm just glad you're still here, son. But who were those big men and what did they take? My fi fish! They took my fish! Not the fish! God, if only you cared about me as much as you did them! <laughs> By the way, where's Mom? Oh, I don't know. Last I saw her, she was with Dinkleberg. <laughs> Oh well, that's probably nothing. I'm off to go save your fish. Have a good day, son. <laughs> Ding dong! Oh, hey Trixie, what are you here for? Tell me I'm pretty. What? Why is that your opening line? Why couldn't it have been, oh, hey Timmy, or hey Timmy, how are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What do you want? Well, I saw these two men carrying some little people out of your home, and then, who I assume is your father, ran after them. And I wanted to see what was going on. Would you believe me if I told you that I had the nuclear launch button and the FBI came to confiscate it? I think you're saying that to swoon me over? So no. What? I, I don't care. Just leave me alone. I'm not in the mindset to fuck. Ah, I mean, figure this out. <laughs> Just get out of here. FBI agent too. Yelling will only make things worse. What? They stole the nuclear command! They could have given that little numb nut kid the command to launch, and who knows where it would have been sent to. Ooh, I know. We sent it to- I don't want to hear about that right now. I only want to know why you decided to do this. Well, it wasn't my idea, and I can't leave Cosmo's side, and he thought it would be a good birthday present for Timmy. That's not a good birthday present. Why are you throwing him under the bus like that? Ooh! That sounds fun. I wouldn't be thrown under a bus. Cosmo! <laughs> do you realize that if you do that, you will die? What's that? <laughs> oh, I've been studying for this moment. You see, 
A psychological death is when someone that is dying hey, accepts the reality. Of this. Dude, cut it out. You were not hired to be a psychologist. If you wanted to do that, you could have went back to Hustlers University. What color is your body? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. The inner misogynist came out. Jeez, what have you been watching? Anyway, do you realize what they could do for us? I don't understand. All my years of service, I have never seen two, two military actors as perfect as them. They could help us achieve world peace. That's not a bad idea. Hey, how about you two work for the government? You don't have to be in captivity. However, you must return the nuclear command to the president. Well, let us think about it first. Nope! Don't have a choice. Welcome to the United States military. Woo! Where is our team? <laughs> <laughs>